First half of section 11.4 is on selecting samples. This is a quick and easy section. Here we go. Uh, if you've got, with, when we're gathering statistics, the population is just a group of people that you want information about. Uh, if you want information um, about colleges, you may talk to college professors or college students. Or So the population is, is the whole group of people that you want the information about. Now it is a little bit cumbersome and crazy to think that you could ask everyone in that population the questions that you need. So when you're taking a survey, you tend to get a sample, which is a smaller group of people within that population that you're going to survey. Now when you do that, you can find the, um, that group, that sample, in several different ways. And um, those different ways are going, we're going to have different types of samples based on the different ways that you can gather those people. A self-selected sample is a is a sample where the um, the people volunteer so if I were going to survey uh, our classroom uh, and I would say okay anyone who wants to be involved in this survey raise your hand that would be a self-selected sample uh, a systematic sample is based on a particular rule uh, like as if I were going to say um, I'm going to survey every other person in uh, in the class that would be a rule that we've that we've established and that's a systematic sample a way of choosing systematically uh, you can also choose a sample based on convenience and that's simply obviously convenience <laughs> how easy are they to reach so i might i might survey everyone in the front row because they're closer and they're easier to easier to access um, i may uh, only contact people that um, that live on my city block all right, that would be a uh, convenience. A random sample is a sample where everybody has the same chance. Everybody within the population has the same chance of being in that sample. And that's really what, what we're, we're striving for that, that creates the best sample uh, is a random sample. Now I have some examples here. These are really hard to do via video uh, because this is, this is better done as like a discussion. Um, but here we go. The first couple that I have are, well, uh, if, a, if a sportscaster wants to contact um, college coaches, college baseball coaches about the, um, their, their uh, opinion on what types of baseball bats should be used. If he chooses to, if the sports, sports writer chooses to um, contact the people, the coaches that he has, has cell numbers for, what type of sample might that be? Well. If he just chooses the ones that he has the cell phone numbers for, that would definitely be um, a convenience sample. They would be the easiest to reach. He already has their information. It's just out of convenience. We got these. So that's a convenience sample. If he chooses to mail out a survey to all the coaches and then he takes the surveys only of those who return the survey, what would that be? It would tend, your, your brain would tend to think, well, that's random. Everybody got one but it's actually self-selected because the people who chose to fill it out and send it in, they self-selected and they volunteered for that survey. So that's a self and it doesn't mean it's bad, it just means that's the sample that you have, that you have gotten in this case. So that's a self, uh, an example of a self-selected sample. Now what if a company knows that, um, that items uh, some of items that they produce are defective and so they they test them for defections uh, is that a word defections um, <laughs> so if they test every fifth item that comes off the off the line what type of sample have they chosen well you should be able to tell every fifth item is using um, is using a, a rule so that would be a systematic sample if every fifth one, oh, we're going to test it, and if it's good or bad, and then we either keep it or throw it. What if we just take the first 50 items that come off the line each day or each month or each whatever? So the first 50 that come off, we test them, and then we, then we use that as our sample. Well, that would tend to be convenience. Those are the easiest ones. It's easy to sit there, do the first 50, and then I'm done. I don't have to deal with any more. So that would be a convenience sample. And now, none of these are bad samples. I'm just saying that these are the different types. These are ways that you can collect your sample and get, um, get a group of people or a group of items together to survey or to, to check. 
to get your to get your statistics to get your information now when we're doing that sometimes the information that we have is biased and sometimes it is unbiased obviously we want an unbiased sample we want um, we want the um, the the representation to be equal across the board so that we get um, so we have an unbiased sample so that it mo it best represents the whole sometimes we have a biased sample which means there's an over or under representation uh, of part of the group so um, part of the group is is represented more than others and let's see so let's look at an example of that what if a magazine asks readers to send in responses to questions on healthy eating habits would that be a biased or an unbiased sample that you're going to get when you get those um, when you get those uh, questionnaires back um, you would tend to think oh that's unbiased I, I just put it out there and they they chose to respond but the ones who respond are going to be the ones that have the most interest or the the um, they they're going to be the most interested in healthy eating habits they have uh, they have a, um, a higher interest in that so you're going to actually have a biased a biased sample here because it takes effort and energy to fill out that questionnaire and send it in so only those um, who are interested in it are going to send it in uh, another example would be if uh, if you want to know if the manager of a concert hall wants to know how often people in the community attend concerts and so the manager just asks 50 people standing in line for a concert he asks them what are what is their opinion is that biased or unbiased well of course if he's asking people in line for a concert those people are more likely to want more concerts and to be more interested in concerts. So his, uh, his sample is definitely going to be biased because he's going to the specific set of people that he wants an answer from. So that's actually a biased sample also. So how do we come up with an unbiased sample there's lots of different ways and actually we can have an unbiased sample within within these sets what if um, and, and one or two of your problems is going to be you come up with a way to have a random unbiased sample set in this situation so let's talk about one example if the owner of a company wants to determine he wants to determine if his employees prefer um, five eight hour days or four ten hour days would you rather have uh, a five a five day week or would you rather have four tens um, well if he wants to survey his employees to see hmm, we're talking about changing things up what do you think he could ask the people that just happen to be in in the uh, the break room while he's there he could um, he could mail out a survey and see who answers these are these are ways that uh, that he could that he could uh, choose a sample um, and those may or may not be random another idea would be to um, to take the entire uh, the entire list of all of the employees and uh, just have a computer randomly select 50 and I think that was what the original problem said was um, he wants 50 problem people he doesn't want he's got a company of 300 people he doesn't want to have to ask all 300 but if he randomly generates has a, a computer program choose choose 50 of those names or if he puts everybody it's kind of a lot of names to actually put in a hat if you've got a smaller number uh, you could actually put names into a hat and draw out the number that you want that would be completely random and unbiased um, so that would be that would be one way so to have a computer generated um, uh, random selection of 50 people in the company and then call them in and ask them their opinion um, so anyway those are those are different ways that you can choose uh, choose uh, so you can select samples this is a really really quick quick lesson um, and uh, the assignment is quick too so uh, enjoy an easy day see you next time